Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's having a good start to their day. So, watching and listening to a little bit of Ben Coombs' Hangout last night. Uh, enjoyed it a little bit. Doing some more work on the frets for the Zebra Stripe Les Paul guitar. And kind of noticed as I was putting a marker on that uh, some of these frets had some dips in them, like they were bent. And really didn't notice it as I was doing the uh, fret ends, but as I put the marker on and kind of rub the marker going across the top of the frets, you can feel it as you're applying the marker. So I was going to go ahead and do a fret leveling on it to see if I can get those dips out. Now there is a thing of uh, leveling it too much, so you got to be kind of careful. So proceeding to level and I was kind of watching certain spots on the neck as I was doing this and I can kind of see that yeah they're not going to come out so what I ended up doing was uh, going on Stumax website and a couple other things on eBay to pick up a few items so I jumped on Stumax website to check out to see what they have for fret wire and I thought I was going to have to buy you know whole lengths of fret wire but no you can actually get them pre-cut and radius so I was looking in I measured the the neck it's a 12 inch radius and measured the height and the width of the frets and it came out pretty close to the medium higher so I ended up picking up uh, a 24 set of these and uh, this is going to work out perfect you know I'm not going to have to have a fret bender or anything else um, I did pick up a couple other tools to help me along with this process So I already have the fret pooler and I already have a fret chip stopper which uh, mine is a little bit different than this one here. Mine can be used actually as a measuring tool as well. Uh, so then all I needed really to pick up was a fret hammer for installing frets. Alright, so the last thing I picked up is a 12 inch radius block, which is a little bit longer than the one that I already have, and this is going to help me installing the frets and keeping them in place as the CA glue dries. I also picked up some very fine tipped uh, CA glue adapters, so I can really get into the crack or slot for the frets, and uh, I already have a fret saw which I'm not going to use because there's binding on this body or neck and uh, I already have a fret slot cleaner that uh, is going to take care of you know whatever leftover glue or crap that's inside the fret slot uh, before I put the new frets in so this shouldn't be too bad of a job I'll have all the tools needed to get the job done and get it done the right way uh, I'm just gonna to have to wait for those parts and tools to come in um, I've already practiced a while back on a older neck that I had of removing the frets using the uh, stop chip removal tool and that thing works pretty damn good um, I gotta say I've had very 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 little chip out if any on the fretboard that I pulled it was a rosewood fretboard uh, and it wasn't dried out or anything else it was you know oiled and stuff so it worked out pretty good um, as far as everything else goes, I have some dies coming in, so I can, you know, color this thing the way that I want it. I kind of have a little bit of an idea of how I want to do this with the die, uh, so hopefully that'll be kind of interesting. Um, and here's something that uh, you guys can get a good laugh, something that uh, Terry didn't want you to see.